crush anyone who blocks my path. The blood that flows through her veins is special and extremely dangerous. If showing pity would put my allies in danger, I will not hesitate to kill them. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Unfortunately, we did not actually unlock any more um, links. We actually did get unlock one, but it was Catherine and Shamir's B, which we saw in the previous playthrough. So I was like, I'm not showing that. You know, like We've already seen it. Even though I do love Shamir. I'm, I'm a bit sad. I want to get them all the way to max, but I'm not going to be able to. Um, that will obviously happen on the like final playthrough. Uh, I'll get to see the entire one. Because on the final playthrough, I'm prioritizing all of the knights and then just filling in whoever I want. But, that said, let's talk to everybody. I thought House Fraldarius had an invasion of their own to worry about. I'm impressed Lord Rodrigue was willing to provide us all these reinforcements and supplies. The knights' morale is really boosted, seeing as they have had their first good meal in a while. Well, good. Glad to hear it. Let's hope we can keep this up. And take down the Great Bridge of Merton. So, actually, I want to study Brawl and the two types of magic, so you can go ahead and teach me Brawl, can't you? I finally got to eat a full meal for the first time in forever! It's all thanks to Lord Rodrigue. He's a he's a great person. I've got so much energy. Let me at that great bridge of Murden. I'll bust it down myself. Oh, but then how do we cross? God damn it, Raphael. He could also teach me brawl. You know what? <laughs> Fine. I've got. Oh. That messes me up every time. I'm like, why can't Raphael teach me how to brawl? That's what he does. All right. Oh, you're Hi. you're someone to talk to. Do you really think it's a good idea to trust Claude? I mean, I hope so. If you let yourself get taken in by his silver tongue, you might wind up regretting. Are you talking from personal experience? Is there a little baby knight somewhere? The thing is, uh, five years ago, I was taken in by his tricks myself. They're called schemes. I was given a long and grueling lecture by my unit leader that day. Ugh, the memory of it is still too painful. Here's our favorite person. So, House Regan accepted. I knew the leader of the Alliance wouldn't refuse. Still, we can't let our guard down. There's no telling when he'll turn on us. That's that's very true. If we advance through the Alliance into the Empire, our chances for reconnaissance will be limited. I just hope it goes according to plan. Let's see, no one else in here it looks like. At least not at the upper bit. There's someone down here. There's a couple of someone's down here. From the outset, House Regan and House Gloucester have been fighting over leadership of the Alliance. Then this war comes along, and their opinions are split about whether to ally with the Empire or not. Well, that tends to happen. Whenever you're at, like, a battle with someone, you automatically say whatever the other person does is wrong. Their existing enmity only worsened, leading them to full-on conflict with one another. However, the leader of the Alliance is a very shrewd man. It's difficult to predict what he'll do at this point. What? Leaving the house in my uncle's hands? What is the old man thinking? I always knew my father was mad, but this time he's gone too far. He just wants to, like, put his resources where it does the most good. Not a bad idea. Easy for you to say. You hardly know the man. Only a fool would abandon his own territory. You just want everything he does to be wrong. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Wow, I don't need to, like, zoom on your crotch. Thank you very much. Lord Rodrigue is revered by all as the Shield of Fargus. I was imagining a more stern-faced fellow, but he's actually quite friendly. Shocking. I heard that he recently spent the night drinking in the dining hall with soldiers <laughs> from the church. And you're jealous because you wanted to go. Mm, yay! Thanks! You're welcome. An armored bear stuffy.
All right, and then yeah. Mr. Merchant. I've been away from Garrick Mock for a while, but I came back when I heard the rumors of what you were doing. The scars of five years ago may still be raw, but it's nice to be back. Anyway, I'm going to start a business here again, so I look forward to your patience. I'm glad you're here, because I need. I, I noticed that this merchant was missing. So I, I need him back. Now, I'm guessing that's him. Oh. Oh. Here's an idea. Hello, On soldier. the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden lies the territory of Acheron of the Alliance. And to the south, the Empire's Burglies territory. Count Burglies has held the position of Minister of Military Affairs for the Empire ever since the days of Emperor Ionius. Is that, um, two emperors ago? Because obviously, um, Edelgard took over for her dad. The current emperor seems to have brought the corrupt nobility to heal. But Count Berkeley's looks to be an exception. Are you saying he's corrupt, or he's not been brought to heal? I guess you're saying both, actually. Okay, just looking around. I could probably look a little bit better. This is always the interesting area that occasionally there's someone, but there, those people are never talkies. Just like House Fraldarius, House Galatea is currently being invaded by the dukedom. My family is not as wealthy as most others, so we are incapable of sparing resources or reinforcements. This is probably why we went to where we did. I'm sorry. It's just so frustrating not being able to do anything to help. Um, my adoptive father is planning on supporting the Regan family in the upcoming operation. Oh, that's good. He says it's the perfect opportunity to get both the Alliance and the Kingdom on his side. He even insisted that I promote the good name of House Edmund to the God people damn it. of the Kingdom. <laughs> He'll see right through me if I lie. So I can't ignore the request, but I suppose I did just tell you, so that must count for something. I mean, yeah, kind of the leader of, um, the rebellion. <sighs> Even though we basically just get strung along by Dimitri, so kind of not really. <sighs> I had an encounter with Lord Gwendol. How many years ago was it? I don't know. Back before the Academy, I met this girl who I fell madly in love with. And her dad tried to kill me. How could you keep straight how um, the, all the times that happened? I suppose he just tried to scare me. But I was sure I was going to die. Oh yeah, her dad? Lord Gwendol. Yeah, I, I gathered. Crazy, right? I never thought I'd seriously be trying to kill the guy in battle. I kind of don't know how to make sense of it. I didn't even know we were fighting Lord Gwendol, to be honest. Aramid River separates the Empire and Alliance. It's the largest river in Fodlan. Sometimes it'll flood when there's lots of rain, but at least the land gets some extra water. Okay. Nope, you can't teach me to brawl. I think Catherine can. Grendel made the ultimate sacrifice in service of House Row. I understand that feeling. I'd do anything for Lady Rhea. You think we should have stopped him. You might be right about that. Oh, Riddle was guy at the last fight. At any rate, it's up to the individual how to demonstrate loyalty. There we go. Get me to A rank. I'm getting the hang of this. I am so poorly optimized for this. Going brawler with a like, female character that can't actually get any bonuses from brawling. Alright. Come out over here. There's someone in the courtyard and somewhere in the dorms. Hello, Flane. Being here brings back all manner of memories. The days I spent studying here with you and everyone else. 
Those days were so special to me. They were special to me too. I'm glad, I'm glad you joined the house after I saved you. They were truly some of the warmest days of my life. I hold them dear in my heart. And now, to be forced to fight with those I was once so close to, my friends, it is most saddening. I, mean, I recruited everyone I could. Although, yeah, there are there are definitely some members of um, the Black Eagles that are still our enemies. Even after all these decades, the Academy hasn't changed a bit. I remember it well, even now. I used to sneak out of lectures with Lambert almost every day. <laughs> I suppose this is not the time for an old man's nostalgia. When is it the time, though? We have received approval from House Regan. We should set out as soon as you're ready. Oh man, now he acts that would make it sound like it's my fault we're delayed. Okay, so I missed some people here. Where were you guys hiding? I bet that means they're up slightly off to the north. Sometimes it, it does weird things in terms of where it counts people as. Where are you guys? Obviously, we're not done yet. We saw. There they are. Professor, it looks like we're all set with food supplies, thanks to Lord Rodri. We have more soldiers to feed now, so we'll still need to ration. But I think we have enough extra to make some tasty treats. I'll go scout the pantry. <laughs> That's true, but it's important to indulge every now and again. It's been so difficult lately, and everyone is worn out. We won't be able to go on if we don't treat ourselves. I'm, I, I, I thought it was a very self-serving way of looking at it. I'm sure you know this already, but House Ordelia is aligned with the Empire. They face the Empire from across a river, similar to the Gloucesters. Yep. Even so, I refuse to yield to the Empire a second time. The Empire did unthinkable things to my family. This has got to be extra weird if you like, because obviously I know what she's talking about, but other people did it. Like, there's so much you can read into that. The only option here is winning, Professor. You must promise we will overcome the Empire. And go ahead and teach me a little bit of magic. Oh, we're not done yet. You go away, bells. Okay, it looks like we've successfully gotten everyone from the lower area. Except for Leone. Oh, damn it, I should have actually had someone do the archery tournament. Whoops. Lord Rodrigue seems reliable, but even with his help, aren't we still a little short-handed? We can probably make it to the Great Bridge of Murden, but beyond that, I don't know. Don't let Dimitri push you too much, Professor. It'll shorten your life, for sure. Well, Lord Wendell was pretty tough. If only he'd been on our side, he would have been a great ally. Yep, he's, he was definitely an honorable person. But it was Lord Gwendal himself who made the decision to throw his lot in with the Empire alongside his liege. I will neither pity him nor mourn for him. It would be an insult to his honor. I don't know about mourning. To follow the path of justice as long as life endures. That is the duty of a Knight of Farkas. All right, we'll come up here. If you stand in my way, I will strike you down. You will get your ass handed to you, sir. <laughs> Don't try and freaking threaten me. Oh, he shouldn't say that. He's a lot bigger than me now. <laughs> Speaking of which, the Great Bridge of Murden isn't just a bridge. It has the features of a fortress. I believe it was built for military purposes by the first leader of the Adrestian Empire. In other words, it's even older than the monastery. So wow. if we occupy the Great Bridge, we'll have to search it from top to bottom. Search it for what? House Fraldarius is a military house. They swore fealty to the royal family at the kingdom's founding. 
The current family head, Lord Rodrigue, was raised like a brother to the former king. He harbors a loyalty that goes beyond mere duty. Perhaps this is why he was willing to lend us his aid. I have a request. Alright, so I do have a quest to go do out in the outskirts. Out in the outskirts. People put me down, cause that's the sort of time I was born in. It's a little frustrating, because I'm gonna get stuck doing three battles. Need something? This one? You're all set. We're almost completely soon. restored, guys. What do we need to get for completely finishing everything? We'll find out before too long. Great Bridge of Murden. We actually crossed it a long time ago. I remember. Do you remember? It was five whole years ago. It seems like so long ago, doesn't it? It's odd how fast time flies. Everyone was still friends then. After the fighting, we all ate together without splitting into our separate houses. I often wish we could go back to those peaceful days. Yeah, but that's the problem with the past. It can only be observed. So, the renowned Shield of Fargus is now on our side. That is quite reassuring. Not only will he provide valuable support in battle, but he has also brought us much-needed supplies. I'm, I'm aware. We cannot grow complacent, however. We must take the Imperial Capital as soon as possible. Oh, we've got a little bit to go still before we get there. We're going to invade the Empire, which means we'll be fighting people we know, won't we? Yep, unfortunately, because I did not prioritize Imperial, like, classmates. Which, obviously I didn't. I wanted to go get the ones I've already seen the stories of. If we're attacked by someone we know or used to think of as a friend, is it permitted to run away? Really? If something happens, will you keep me safe? I mean, I'll kill them instead of you, but... ALL was a tactical marvel. You grow stronger with each passing day. I don't day. know about that. Where does your talent end and your crest's power begin? Are they one and the same, I wonder? Most intriguing. Yet, it is quite difficult to draw useful conclusions given the situation. It is quite unfortunate I did not achieve my research goals before the war broke out. So much unknown. Now, I fear I will not have those answers even by conflict's <laughs> end. So very frustrating. All right, Manuela. Professor? Oh, hello there, Professor. Did you need something from me? It doesn't look like you're wounded or anything. Are you just looking for someone to talk to? This, that line makes a little bit more sense if you're a guy. I thought so. Well, I'm here for you. Making you feel better is my top priority. Okay. Whether it's physical pain or worries of the heart, you can come to me for anything, Professor. All right. Almost done. A couple more people up here. Lady Rhea must be so scared. We gotta find her quick as we can. We got reinforcements from the Kingdom people now, right? Then we ought to be able to go save her. <laughs> Is there one other? No, nope, we're done. Alright, well then... I definitely cannot stop here and then... Or, I mean, I definitely can't, like cut to the battle, and then do the battle in the last ten minutes of the episode. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just push forward, even though this is stuff I don't usually show. Strike manually, absolutely. So. First of all, Ash, you need to be a bow knight. Your lance needs to come up. And your horsemanship is at sea. I think your lance is the bigger problem. This will be useful. Oh, why? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no. That's a. Of course. Oh, I do. <laughs> I just. Okay, so that this is a mistake on my part. Goals for Ash should be Lance and Horsemanship. Okay, and the other big one we have to get to the their final level. Well, not the other big one because there's all there's a couple. But like, oh, I didn't have Lilith eat with anyone. I'm an idiot. No. I think writing is the one for you. Because writing has to be A. Easier than I thought. Don't stop. Than and then your skill goals are. Does it tell me? I thought it did before. Where did I see it before? Regardless, I still want to check it. Okay, so Sylvain, you are Axe and Fist. Lysithia, Lance and Horse. Okay, so you are correct. Now your brawling needs to come up. Wow. I should be super good at teaching this. Wow. I need the I should have like four perfects here. Hey, that was useful. It was nothing. Of course I got it. It was nothing. All right, Mercedes. So yeah, these guys are... Oh, it actually lets me. I was like, it won't even let me do this. I guess, is there an S+. Plus? Yes. Thank you for... <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it again next time. I'm... Yep, you did. You lied to me. So you're a dancer. I'm going to put you in a trancer. Thanks for your time. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. See, that's what that's brawling practice should have been like. And Ingrid, you're level 27. You actually look like you're in a good spot for getting back to that bow class. That was tough. I appreciate. All right, and that's it. Everyone that I can train, because Dimitri won't show up for class. I have a question. Good teacher. Thank you. Wait, well, what is this little like diva flankage we have going on? It's like the twin divas on a net. Why is she on? I guess it doesn't matter. She's Marianne. Yep, 
You know what? Why not? I don't need Ignace to like me, but. Professor, I'm here. I wanted to take you up on your invitation. Well, yeah, that's obviously why you showed up. You have my thanks. What a lovely fragrance. Uh, yes? <laughs> Give me a second to think about it. I thought it was in the market, yes? maybe. All right. Just about everyone always likes talking about themselves. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part. Uh, yes? <laughs> he definitely talked about he wanted to see the world and be able to paint. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I was just admiring you. That's a blush. I can't believe it. Bam! Some people look smarter if they're wearing glasses. Not me, though. <laughs> Tell me about this hmm. feather. I wish I wasn't so shy all the Tell time. Tell me about the feather! Oh, you suck. You have a perfect opportunity to talk about the feather and you didn't do it. Thank you for the delicious tea. I'd be happy to join you again whenever you like. I bet you are. Let's make it quick. I think we can manage. Yep, our two horse people. Well, the people that need horsemanship. We did a fine job. All the people we've recruited. I know I can hurry this along, but you know why? Someone told me to train Gilbert and Faith, so that's what I've been working on. I'm really getting the hang of it. Well worth the effort. Ooh, she got fortified. Awesome. Feeling pretty good about this. All right, and then we have a quest battle. Taking care of business. What'd you say? Taking care of business. Paralog battles? Wait a minute. Since when? Well, would you look at that? I know what we're doing next. Wow. Um, obviously that is the one about, but Face Beneath and, um, Weather Veins of Fodlin I've not seen. And I'm interested in. I almost missed that, because I'm a dumb. So next time, if that's what we're doing, guys. I know it's a little bit less than a 30-minute episode, but I'm definitely not starting a battle now. Deal with it. Or don't.